Howdy folks, thanks for clicking on the video. Um, I'm out in Sussex. Yes, so I'm not alone. I'm a, I'm a guest, I've been invited. Uh, I think I might have invited myself actually. And uh, yeah, I'm in Sussex and uh, I'm with Mr. Sussex Outdoors. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> purveyor of all things Sussex Outdoors. I suppose so, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, check his channel out, link in the description. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for no, having me down welcome. here, mate. Very welcome. Um, yes, and also, hello, how are we doing? I'm, uh, I'm with Mr. Colin from Outdoor Gear Essentials, but generally South Coast Outdoors UK is good. It is UK, isn't it? I it is sure. UK. He yes, everyone wrong. gets it wrong. What did he say? James said South Coast Outdoors. Ah, uh, no one's ever going to watch me now, are they? How you doing? Good, good. Good. Nice to see you. It is good, it's been a while. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Jane, this is James's patch. We've got a lovely patch. Yeah, I'm gonna go Lanshan 2, because I wasn't sure on ground, etc. etc. Uh, so I kept it simple with a tent. We're gonna have a chili. We're gonna have nachos actually. Spicy hot nachos which I'm in charge of. Yeah, before all that, we're gonna set up, get some fire stuff done, and uh, generally get comfy, maybe have a beer. So, cue the music, and we'll catch up later. Okay, so tent is up. A few spiky things in the ground, which I was a bit concerned about, having it being an unknown area. So I bought the light AF mat just to protect my uh, mat that goes on the ground, just to give a semblance of protection. It's the base of this tent's very thin. Might as well do all this now because I'm not going to be sitting right by this. I'm going to have a fire over there later, so uh, I'll we'll get all my beds set up, squared away, so I'm going to think about it. I'm going to fall in it later. I'll go through gear today just for just for the fun of it. So, yeah, this is the light tour um, sleeping pad. Obviously, for a bit of luxury. This is a flex tail gear. I think it's called a zero pillow. I saw Rob with one of these um, the other day, and his was way bigger than mine. So I believe they do different sizes of this. Sea to Summit compression sack, but as I said, it's waterproof, so that's why I use it. But I've 
Inside it is a winter sleeping bag. It's the Rab Ascent 1100 uh, down bag. And while this is a great sleeping bag, the bag that storage bag, you know, that Rab give you is a pile of crap. So, uh, yeah, I invested in the uh, Seed Summit bag to keep it in. And, yeah, much better. storage bag for the uh, air mat is massive so I keep everything in here including you know clothes and stuff if, if it's going to be wet because it, it's a waterproof bag yeah that is me set up for the evening I think Got some clothes for later Can clear off down there yeah that's it, I'm happy. All right, I'm gonna do some fire stuff. It's pretty here, a little bit of almost a sunset. Yeah, I like this, this spot, I mean, we're we're way down there, I just walked up this way looking at some of this uh, pine just to see if there's some easy wood for starting fires but there's this kind of built up bank all the way along where we are and um, yeah it's good, it gives you a good vantage some of this uh, dead fallen wood but it's up off the ground is probably the thing to be gathering nice and dry heavy uh, so we've got a healthy stack James is tripping over James is digging the pit so we might start soaring a little I like we just cut that one in half Push it in. Push it in. Yeah. yeah. Stick big stuff. Fast around. Yeah. Cop stretch out. Cheers. Head up. Top. Ooh, um. 
It was like nine o'clock, and you said that's after your rum night. Mm. And you literally, it was like nine o'clock, everyone's out, and all you yeah. can hear from the test. <laughs> <laughs> James, you gotta get up, right? Set up. Get the bacon on. Yeah. It's mad. one and uh, yeah zipped in my tent <sighs> yeah good good sociable evening lots of chatting <laughs> strangely not a lot of filming because there was a lot of chatting but uh, yeah nice good to catch up with the chaps drink a few beers eat some nice food and um, yeah time to get my head down and Colin is cooking breakfast tomorrow so Looking forward to that. Have a lazy morning and uh, have breakfast served to me. Awesome. But yeah, that was good. But time for a visit to Kipton Town. Good night, everybody. might be. Not sure about Carl. Yeah, I'm gonna quietly make a coffee in my vestibule and just enjoy a little chill time.
see the sunshine. Let's have a look. Hear noises. Anyone awake? <laughs> I just wondered if anyone was awake. Oh, I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Da, 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 da. I get my shoes on. I think it has, yeah, it's stopped raining. So I'll go and say hello once I've got my coffee. Nice. This cute little stove I'm using is called, what's it called? The X Boil. And, um, yeah, I made a little sort of show and tell video a while back. But, um, yeah, it's a cool little meth burner kit, as it were. Little little bottle of fuel. It doesn't take a lot to boil some water. But, um, yeah, it's one of the things Colin over there sells on Outdoor Gear Essentials. And, uh, yeah, it's, I, I really like it. It's ultra light, easy to use and all that. And I've got a boil. a little puck burner with uh, it's like graphite felt in there and a bit of mess and then the uh, the windshield with the pot stand on and it all just fits within a little cup and um, yeah it's a really cool system <laughs> I can't remember what it weighs I think I I talked about what it weighs in the video but it's not a lot but for a kind of morning coffee type thing, it's a nice light option. And to be fair, I've used it, you know, to do egg and bacon sandwiches and stuff. I put a frying pan on there, like a small frying pan, and it's coped with that really well. So, um, yeah, it's a decent thing. Fuel fits in, and then see, I packed some coffees and stuff in there. But it's just an easy sort of morning brew kit, as it were. Job done. Right. Let's go say good morning. Okay, so yeah, I never took you around people's shelters and stuff. Let's do that while they're in it. 
and stick a camera in their face. Let's have a look at James's his tarp configuration. He's doing a regular plow point with a where's that DD super light tarp. That looks quite cool. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Squire. How are you doing? Yes, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, this is its first time being a um, uh, foul point and I didn't realize that the uh, super lights sag when wet oh, right. so I've had a little bit of condensation on my head and you can see on my pillow and everything so yeah. stayed warm but yeah a little moist on the outside yeah and we learn from our mistakes cozy enough though oh definitely definitely well <laughs> it's a bit messy at this present second in time yeah whenever I've done a plow point I think I usually sleep with my feet down the pointy end yeah and the head up that end. I've yeah. never gone horizontal. I may try that, that next looks, time. Well, that looks quite cosy, though. Mm. Yeah. Like I said, was, was fine all night. It's just when I woke up and sort of went, ooh, bit, mm. bit damp. Yeah. Yeah. Looks nice, though. So. Oh. It's a classic. Let's go and see uh, Uncle Colin over here. Now he's in something very special. This is a plough point, again. It's a very nice plough point. Similar to how I would set it up in terms of the angle of the mat and such. But this is a wax canvas tarp. It is a wax canvas tarp, so made right? by the very talented James. Who? James, Six uh, Outdoors. Who's, who's that? I don't know, some bloke over there. Oh, it. that guy. Yes. It is very lovely, especially this morning with the rain. It's just got a lovely sound to it. Yeah. Just had to uh, sit there and listen to it for a bit. But yeah, no, it was fantastic last night. Really nice. Yeah, I had a feel of this last night, and it mm. sort of reminds me of my kind of Polish lavu kind of material. It's heavy, but wax canvas is very yeah, nice. Very yeah, pretty and nice to be under, I'd imagine. Mm, it was. Very nice. Cool. So, yeah, there we are. The, the two classic, lovely tarp configurations and then a wet, saggy day glow tent over there. It is a bit bright today. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is a saggy, bright mess. It's nice, though. It's nice in the morning. morning. A little bit of rain. It's dry now, it's stopped, it's just dripping off the trees. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Yeah, as I said yesterday, I like the I like the kind of step of the forest. It kind of drops off there and then goes flat for a bit. And if I I went that way yesterday and Sort of further up there, there's another little step. I guess it's kind of quite hilly around here. We're near the downs, so I guess this is a what do they call it? A managed forest, because you can see the trees in neat rows. So I guess they flattened it off to make the machinery easier to get in and out. But yes, very nice, very nice. All right, I drink my coffee. Then I might get my shovel out. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's been going on all night. <laughs> Bacon, amazing. Oh, 
Thank you very much. No worries. Oh, look at it, look at it. Thanks, Cole. No problems. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> I love food cooked by, not me. Uh, right, I'll find my chair. Sit down and eat, be civilised. So, you got a plate? Let's take a moment. Mmm. Right. That's glorious. Okay, so we're on our way out. And, uh, yeah, it's been a lovely morning. Beautiful sunshine, lovely breakfast. So we're all cleared up, left no trace. That was where the fire was. All tidy, you wouldn't know we'd been there. Uh, I want to say thanks to James, Mr Sussex Outdoors, for the uh, invite. Well, no, you're very welcome. To his spot, thank uh, you. No, it's you're very welcome, it's been cracking. Yeah, and uh, well, Mr. Mr Colin. How are you doing, Squire? Thank you very much no. for uh, cooking breakfast and all. Well, thanks for the chilli last night. No worries. Beautiful. Nice to see your Great face. Great camp. Indeed. So, yeah, we are on our way to find the car. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to link these guys' channels in the description as well as uh, Outdoor Gear Essentials, a quality website full of quality items. Quality items, that's what we like. That would be awesome. And, uh, yeah, you can pick up all sorts on there. The um, lightweight kind of hiking stuff but also the Sussex Outdoors things, the pouches that I've used often, you know, the uh, the Expoil thing I was using this morning's on there, all that sort of stuff so worth a look and um, Colin, will, Colin will look after you. Indeed I will. But yeah we're on our way, thank you so much, thumbs up the video if you've enjoyed it. I don't know that there was a lot of filming because there was an awful lot of talking yeah, I think I forgot to put my camera on most of it. But it's jolly good social camp. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye, James. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye, Colin. Cheers. Later. <laughs> See ya.